to talk about my top five expectations, more like prayers, come Air Max Day 2018, and also the month. Tune in. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Constitution where we talk sneakers. <laughs> Alright, run that back, run that back. Hey guys, welcome to Constitution where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The conversation you guys have all been waiting for. My top five prayers, aka expectations for Air Max Month 2018. Guys, you know, now that the whole All-Star Game fiasco and everything, well, not necessarily a fiasco, that's the wrong term. I mean, the All-Star sneaker releases are all over for this weekend. Let's get into the next, you know, uh, thing going on for Nike, which is Air Max month. So anyways guys enough yapping. Let's get into it So my number one expectation for Nike come Air Max month 2018 are the price points people we already know this like sneakers should not cost more than a hundred dollars Like I understand, you know the companies need to make their profits But sneakers should not cost more than a hundred dollars. So for me, I think all sneakers for Air Max month I know it's gonna be a prayer I know I'm just, you know, stating this and it's not going to happen, but I'm going to state it anyways. It should be costing no more than $100. So my number two expectation for Nike come Air Max month 2018 is bring out older releases. Don't just be stingy and, you know, just give us one. You know what I'm saying? Just give us one. Last year was the utmost that everybody wanted, you know, and now this year it's the back. Particularly for me, I love my Air Max one, so the Air Max one, like that, that is the one, you know what I'm saying? But maybe we should bring out a couple more Nike, like maybe just a couple more. I'm just saying, you know, you know, let's bring back like a cherry wood. Let's bring back like a clot, you know what I'm saying? Bring back some old, like kid robot, a chlorophyll. Let's bring back some older versions, you know what I'm saying? Because like... The newer stuff, I know that Nike is just plotting, trying to, you know, push their newer stuff. Although some of the newer stuff is cool, you know, but I know they're plotting, trying to push the newer stuff on us. So let's try to bring back the older stuff. The stuff, the Air Maxes that made us fall in love with Air Maxes in general. Bring more of that out for this Air Max month 2018. I'm just saying, I'm just praying, maybe. So number three, people, release methods. Man, man, oh man. You guys, I mean, Nike, they, they put these things, the shoes that is, the sneakers, online, you know. I'm up 7 in the morning, you know, try, trying to just get that sneaker. And, of course, I take that big, fat, freaking L on my forehead. Like, come on. Like, there has to be better ways so the people that want the sneakers, that actually want to wear the sneakers, can get them. There has to be a better way than online, you know. I, I don't know, guys. You know what? Let's like do surprise releases, Nike. Let's just do surprise releases because I feel like that evens it out. You know what I'm saying? Because people will not know. And keep it on the low low because people will not know when those sneakers will come out. I don't mind. You guys said last year that sneakers were going to be limited, blah, 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 blah. But let's do some surprise like hits. Like just randomly out of nowhere, out of the blue when nobody's expecting them so that people will have an opportunity. People that want to rock the sneakers will have an opportunity to get them. I'm just saying. In addition to that, Nike, can we get a wider release? You know what I'm saying? Like, can we get a wider release? Like, a lot of people voted for the sneakers. Like, tons of millions of people voted for sneakers. And, like, last year, like, only a handful of people ended up getting the Atmos. You know? Like, can we just widen it a little bit? Just, just a little bit, Nike, so that we could actually, you know, cop the sneakers that we voted for last year? Like, what is the point of voting for a sneaker? if you can't even get the sneaker or you can't get a sneaker but it's going to be like three four five times the price i'm just trying to rock this nice works of art that you guys produce so can we get them for the low low and can we actually get them nike hook us up for the one time man hook us up for the one time so number four man i feel like i'm a talking oxymoron but i'm gonna say it anyways 
decrease the hype on the sneakers. Like, you know, Air Max month is cool and all, but like, don't make it a holiday. It's not a holiday. Like, like Air Max Day, you know, March 2016, 2018, you know, should not be a holiday. And all the, you know, five years or whatever past should not be a holiday. Like, let's decrease the hype and increase the give back. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's find a way to like raise money to give to people that can't, you know, afford sneakers at all. Let's raise money to give to people that are the poorest of the poor. Let's actually have something where we're giving back instead of just like take, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, let's make it like a giving month in addition to it being like, you know, the release of Tinker Hatfields, Tinker Hatfields Air Max One, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's give back, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys are probably looking at me like, so, like, so, like, what have you given? It's like, see, for me, I'm a giver, but I don't announce my giving. That's just, that's, that's just me. I, I just don't announce it because I feel like you need to be humble when you're giving. You don't need to have the whole world know that you're giving something to people. You know what I'm saying? So I think that instead of making it big on holiday and marketing and the hype, let's make it about giving too. You know what I'm saying? Let's at least incorporate that into the, the whole Air Max month thing. And last but not least, something that a lot of people I know were thinking but didn't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. The vote. The vote. So last year, you know, and the years before that, you know, voted, voted for somebody. And, you know, for this year, Sean Witherspoon won. Big ups to him. But for me, I feel like this is a big popularity contest. When I looked at those lists of people last year, I was like, I don't, I don't know this person. I don't know this person. I don't Sean Witherspoon. I know this person. But was that really the most popular sneaker? You guys let me know down in the comment section below. Was that really the most popular sneaker? Like for me, it wasn't. It wasn't the, the most popular sneaker. I mean, and and no diss to Sean Weatherspoon because that's not my style and congratulations to him. But I felt like the sneaker was like a rainbow sneaker. You know what I'm saying? With corduroy. He hit it with the corduroy piece, but the coloring wasn't necessarily my my style. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating Institute, but it wasn't my style. So I wish that one, it was less of a popularity contest because I felt like, you know what I'm saying? The word was, you know, given out to all the, uh, you know, entrepreneurs out there, all the uh, influences out, influencers out there. And all of a sudden, boom, 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 Sean won. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else really knew the other people. And they're like, a handful or a couple sneakers that were better than Sean's sneaker. Like, if I'm, for me, in my opinion, if I'm keeping it 100, which I try to do as much as possible, like, that wasn't the best shoe. You know what I'm saying? Now, the question is, will I try to cop the Air Max 97 ish that Sean made? Yep, I'm gonna try to cop it. I'm gonna try to cop it. Why? Because I'll use it as trade bait. I'll sell it to get a sneaker that I prefer. But that's that's just me, guys. But let me know down in the comment section if you thought that Sean's sneaker should have won. Let me know. I'm definitely not trying to be negative against him. I'm just keeping it 100 for myself. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought. Hey, guys. So my sneaker conversation is up for today. Let's make Air Max Day March 20. 18 2018 a day of giving a month of giving and not always take 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 that's my big takeaway from this and let's have a good day love one another and thank you guys all for watching my video i'll see you guys all on the next episode of casa station make sure to subscribe for the one time if you're new deuces <laughs> to actually get in front of it. So. To end. So you have to look at this. You look at this one. To end. Okay. To end. All right. <laughs> All right, go, guys. Thank you.